Well, game week is here in the Buckeye State as we've got three games on Thursday night and then tons more games on Friday as the regular season will get underway. We'll be in Ohio for tonight's football frenzy first look as we visit the team that looks to reset in 2023, and that's the Belpre Golden Eagles. The football frenzy first look, sponsored by WVU Parkersburg. The Belpre Golden Eagles are starting fresh in 2023 as Kevin Welsh now takes the reins as the head coach of the football team. With Belpre winning only two games in the previous two years, the program needed a change and the players are noticing that change happening. It's more organized. Everything goes smoother. All the practices have been it's more enjoyable and our team just overall has been better with who we have right now and we have more numbers as you can see. There were games that Belpre would struggle to put 11 players on the field, and that number is now up to near 30. Willis Starcher, a senior, says that there has been a community effort to build the program. There's kids that just want to come out and play, and I think part of this uh, doing more things to help bring kids out, uh, reach out to people in the community within Belpre that go to our high school to bring kids out has really done more for us. Uh, you know, coaching staff helping us out with that. It's just. You know, so we bring in more kids out, and that's a, they're a big part of it. It's not just about what they do on the field. It's off the field as well. Players say the new coaching staff is grooming them to be good people first, which will translate to their play on the field. Our coaches care about what type of people we are. He wants to build character. He wants us to be good people. But another thing is attitude. You know, past couple years has been some negative attitudes, some stuff going around that shouldn't be going around. And we're not here for, we're not here to be negative. We're here to be positive, learn, grow, and play ball and win as a club. Coach Welsh is glad to hear that his coaching style and philosophy is rubbing off on his players. If they're saying that, then we're doing the right things because we wanted, we told them at the beginning that the teams that are successful, the teams that win, our teams that are disciplined and work hard and do things right and do football on the field. And we're getting that out of all of them, slow process at times, but they've improved 100% since the first day. First scrimmage was a little struggle, second scrimmage was a little struggle, but we expected that. We got kids that haven't played before, kids that hadn't played for years, kids in new positions, so still a learning process for them. But for them to say things are going good, for them to say, it's good. Belpre opens the season on Friday night against Warren, and members of the Golden Eagles are excited to show their city what this new team will look like when it takes the field. I trust our coaching staff, and uh, just everything on the field is different. You know, everyone has more, there's more experience going around, more discipline. So on the field, you can expect to see a new ball, uh, new ball club. This new coaching staff wants Belpre to get back to their winning ways, and they say they will not wait to start winning. They want to go for it in 2023. Our way of looking at it is number one things make playoffs. Now that's every coach. And then, you know, advance into playoffs, win your conference and those things. And we've set those goals. Some of them may not have been this year, but we believe that if we do things right, we could do those things this year. But it's going to take an effort from the kids, the coaches, the community, everybody to come together and support the team and do the things right on the field to get there. Uh, so I don't know exactly how you want to say success would be obviously improvement. We've got to improve, but for the coaches, it's winning. 